Personalised or precision medicine is a broad field that aims to use what we can measure about individuals to inform their healthcare. Scientific advances, especially in the fields of genomics and big data, have driven this precision medicine field. And this is leading us to the verge of a step change in the way in which medical care is designed, targeted and delivered. However, the pace of scientific and technological change in the last few years has been dizzying. An integration of these advances into routine patient care presents considerable multidisciplinary challenges. The Oxford Centre for Personalised Medicine was formed in 2013 to consider some of these opportunities and challenges, to engage and communicate with scientists, students and wider publics, and to address a widening gap between the advancing science and the application and practice of personalised medicine. The CPM is a partnership at the University of Oxford between the Wellcome Centre for Human Genetics and St Anne's College. For the last 25 years or so, the Wellcome Centre has been at the forefront of research, discovery into genomic medicine. And it hosts about 40 research groups and the work that they're covering spans right the way across human diseases from metabolic diseases, cardiovascular diseases, infectious diseases, and indeed cancer. Medicine's always been personalised to some extent, but over the last five to ten years there's been a massive explosion in the amount of data that we can gather about people. That data explosion extends from our Fitbit trackers to uh, kits we buy over the counter to being able to analyse our genetic code quickly and cheaply. Um, and all those together really increase the opportunity to target interventions and, and medicines in a much better way. But in order to do so effectively, we really need to also pay attention to the ethical, legal and societal aspects that are involved in implementing those exciting advances um, in practice. I've been part of the CPM team for the last year. Uh, I also run a research group at the Wellcome Centre for Human Genetics, and we use computational approaches and large genomic data sets to try and identify genetic variants that cause rare diseases. Knowing the precise genetic variant that causes disease in a patient allows us to accurately diagnose disease, uh, also to perform risk prediction in family members. It can inform us on reproductive decisions, and it also opens avenues for personalised treatment. Exciting technological developments such as CRISPR-Cas9, which enables precise single base changes to DNA, are showing huge promise as fully personalised treatments. We recently hosted Jennifer Doudner, who won the Nobel Prize for her work on CRISPR, to talk to us about this. We've also hosted COVID vaccine developers, epidemiologists, ethicists, genomic scientists and genetic counsellors, and many, many more besides. Multidisciplinarity is vital to the CPM mission. Biomedical and social sciences are represented within the team and steering group. We see the links to the wider social issues to which personalised medicine gives rise as being absolutely central to our efforts. We've engaged with and held events involving researchers in many different fields, including law, economics, bioethics, demography and palliative care. We've also explored how education might be influenced by omics data. We've been supporting undergraduate and postgraduate students from across the university who've established their own personalised medicine society. Within two years, it's now got more than 200 members and has run fantastic programme of events throughout the academic year. And I had the privilege of serving as the president of the Oxford Personalised Medicine Society for the past year. Our goal is to foster discussions about the benefits and detriments of personalised medicine on healthcare in modern day medicine. Throughout the year, we have organised a great diversity of events for all at the University of Oxford and beyond, ranging from personalised medicine lectures, our first publishing of the Oxford Personalised Medicine Journal, podcasts, outreach events, careers and coding skill workshop series. And one of our key goals going forward is to increase interdisciplinary subject involvement across all subject areas. We have a very strong St Anne's contingent from the St Anne's College at Oxford and we have a very strong medicine contingent as a medicine-based society. But with personalised medicine being such an interdisciplinary subject, we really want to try and increase involvement from other subjects such as computer science, ethics and politics as the society grows. The college and the centre have also been working together with school children 
from all backgrounds, inspiring an early interest in, in science and medicine and what that's going to look like in the future. Public engagement is really important to everybody in the Wellcome Centre. We want to make sure that the research that we're doing here is understood by members of the public and most importantly perhaps to patients with their help and engagement is going to make a real difference to public health in many different ways. We are always seeking innovative ways to engage. We've tried new approaches like creating an animation about one aspect of personalized medicine, polygenic risk scores, created by a snapshot of an entire genetic code. One of the things that we really need to do now is looking more at disparities in healthcare, um, be that um, knowledge about genetics and that being very biased towards Northern European ancestry, or be that um, engagement with medicine and social disparities. We need a, um, a good lens on those two factors together to really make it more relevant to society as a whole. And that's exactly what the Centre for Personalised Medicine aims to do. Um, it really brings in a, a lot of diverse disciplines and expertise to look at the whole picture about personalising medicine. We're very proud of what the centre's achieved so far and none of this would have been possible without the financial support of the Dr Stanley Ho Medical Development Foundation and the Wellcome Trust. We're really grateful to them.